there is no doubt the de- the failure of the Democrats to uh, set this up in terms of you know uh, politically has been astonishing. I mean, like y- you almost need to sit down and make a plan on how to mitigate the impact of this uh, on him politically to do what they're doing. I mean, we have the presumptive front runner, the well, presumptive nominee, Joe right. Biden, did a uh, a stream from his home, and I look. We know how challenging that is. Presumably, Joe Biden has better a bandwidth than Matt does, and maybe a slightly better router. He had 2,800 people on his stream. He had 2,800 people. Before we went down today, we had 7,000. Yep. And, 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 and I, I don't like, and, and the guy's not going to debate. The reason why Joe Biden should be debating is because that's the only thing that's going to get any attention for him. And if he can't debate, then we have a serious, serious problem. I mean, like, we need to have a leader coming from the Democratic Party now, right? And and like I say, we can see the limitations that everyone has in the opposition party as it is. I mean, put this aside from the uh, Democratic primary. There needs mm-hmm. to be someone who steps up and can actually sort of like put this in context so that people understand what's going on with 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 Donald Trump's response here. I think that's the and, word. And, and nobody has that capacity. There isn't a single. This is why I keep reaching to people I'm not a fan of. Barack Obama, Bill Clinton. They can go and do a national address and say, here's what he did with the pandemic office. Here's the timeline on the warnings. And here is a path forward to protect your health and economy. And you can make that as moderate and non-bold as you want you need to do something but yeah you i mean don't need to outline thing. again I, you need I don't to do, know have if, some if leadership Obama capacity and clinton you know bill clinton let's say yeah. i mean I, I don't you know even if you bring back fdr and have them come in from the sidelines and do it i don't think it's going to be i think it's going to become like it's the, it, the, the story is immediately going to spin off it that's why you use the stimulus as that platform you use the democratic primary as that platform like you know joe yeah, biden should sure. be going to because look sanders showed in the last primary in the last debate that he was not going to go hard at joe biden yep. he had multiple opportunities to go hard at joe biden both on a on a policy level on a personal level on a like uh, you know uh, gotcha moment level like you know name nine name three name five never you know whatever it no was kidding. on those on those packs he didn't do it and what he did do was that gave both those guys a platform to speak about the crisis we were about to enter now if you're only getting 2800 streams on your on your webcast and you are the presumptive nominee of the Democratic Party going up against Donald Trump in seven months. It is your responsibility to figure out how do I get a platform to get the Democratic message, to get the general election message out there. And not just the general election, but any, you know, because this isn't going to be, we're, we're a not government, over. A we're government not, in waiting message. We're, and yes, and not, but we're it, not I mean, over. The, the stimulus fight is not over. There's going right. to be a phase four and there's going to be a phase five. I mean, make well, no and Biden already said, you know, his response to the stimulus was basically like, yeah, they got what they could get. Can I get some soup? And I mean, this is I, I made up. Cuomo soup part. came out and said he was disappointed. I well, mean, this, and this is and this is a thing that I really want to just uh, look. <laughs> Again, I want Bernie to run like hell. Uh, I want I wish Bernie did take go after Biden hard. Bernie's still in this fight. And then the second non ideological point is. The the democratic and there's huge democracy problems with this and you know but in Ryan Grimm's book, uh, funnily enough, he talked about how Democratic insiders were freaked out about Jesse Jackson in 1988, and they were grooming Mario Cuomo to get the nomination instead of Jesse Jackson at the convention. Now, Jesse Jackson, you know, was running an incredibly inspiring campaign, and Mario Cuomo is you know, Cuomo the lesser, as you call Andrew, but they have to be, somebody has to be sitting down, including people that I, you know, again, I keep, whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, somebody who, people in the Democratic Party, for all their incompetence and insulation, have to see there is a 
real limit in Joe Biden's capacity. What is a plan B here? Because I, I mean, I, I would be shocked if they can't not, do it. If people aren't going around and and then and maybe the first one to be doing it is Andrew Cuomo trying to figure out how Andrew Cuomo becomes the nominee. Well, I, mean, I think I, that's I gonna I, I would put I, 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 I would put dollars how, to donuts on that. I, I do. I, uh, I mean, I, I can't see how that could happen, but I mean, who, who knows? I mean, I think we're in very much who knows territory. Now, I, Sam. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, in the, before I was talking today and last night, he's like three weeks ago, we were talking about the super Tuesday. That seems like five years ago. Like five it's a completely ago. different world. That's right. um, so we'll see. But,